All right, there it goes. All right, there it goes. Oh, a lot of people popped up. A lot of people popped up. We'll just wait a moment until we'll uh, people moment get in here, and then uh, here we'll just then, uh, start talking about the finale. Talking about the finale. Yeah. Let me send that link in the Discord. Get the link on here. Link on here. Put that there, put and that then there, I'll and put then a private message so you guys can read the chat. So you guys can read the chat. And then we're good. Then we're good. All right. So who wants to right, start? So who wants to start? Anyone just want to absolutely Anyone shit, want to absolutely shit on, the on the finale? On the finale. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, it was it was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's getting an echo, yeah, everyone's Jasmine. Getting an echo, Jasmine. Bro, it's not mine. It's I'm not muted. <clears throat> Then it might be truffles. It might be truffles. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, truffles. Your mic's yeah, echoing. Truffles, your mic's echoing. Dude, this is a five dollar mic. Oof. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> shitty. Oh well. Oh well. All right. So truffles, right, why did so you truffles, just like absolutely hate just, the like, finale? Absolutely hate the finale. Uh. So like. It, it's kind of stupid because you have all these characters um, with different arcs and then uh, fucking Bran, you know, the dude in the wheelchair, uh -huh. he gets uh -huh. king. Like, it doesn't make sense. And yeah. I don't know. I did like how John went back to the, what is it, the wall? Because that's kind of what he is. That's how yeah. he was, like, yeah. built. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I agree with that with uh, John yeah, back to the wall. I thought that was pretty fitting. I thought that was pretty fitting. Uh, as for Bran, uh, as for Bran, it made sense, but it was it kind of a dumb sense, choice. It was kind of a dumb choice. Yeah. Cuz yeah, cuz Arya like she's not, you know, a lady. She doesn't like the the, the regulations whatever. She's kind of right. free. She's no one. Right. And then Sansa just, doesn't fucking care right then, right yeah i did like how i kind of like where everyone was placed except for bran except for bran so like the stark children all so, survived like, the but they all kind of got, got a you know uh, got a, you know, uh like, a bittersweet ending cause they were separated. like a bittersweet ending because they were separated and i like how yeah. sansa was like, like became independent with the winter like, fell because that was kind of built up since uh rob stark since uh rob stark yeah, that made sense. Yeah. yeah. She she was honestly a pretty she, she complete was character. A pretty complete character. But yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Uh uh here, let me just lower my mic a little bit so there's less of an echo. Uh Jasmine, uh, you want Jasmine, anything? You want anything? Jasmine's being mute. Jasmine's being mute. Okay, well, Jasmine's okay, choosing well, not to Jasmine's speak right now. That's fine. Right now, that's fine. <laughs> but my overall thoughts with the finale well, was, the finale um, was um, I really liked the endings of all the characters, pretty much, except for Bran being king. That was kind of dumb. And I did like, um, I think my favorite part with the finale was uh 
probably just Sansa getting uh, Winterfell for herself because she really deserved it. And I like the built up with her character and how she got to the ending with that. Um, but what was really stupid about the finale for me was um, for me was um, uh, like the you know how like the unsullied of uh, Dothraki came back like they were all pretty much killed off in episode yeah. three, but it's like the whole armies were like the whole armies were they were just bad. yeah there, there's like a whole army yeah there's a whole army that and pissed then, me off so much um, pissed me off so much they had the Prince of Dorne right yeah they did it's like, but... yeah they did but... yeah. It's like why did they why show that, like there's like thousands like, of them? They should have all like died off. Should have all like died off. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense because Dorn didn't fight in the what is it the war, or they did, but it was like a few men. So it, it would make more sense for them to just like fight, mm-hmm. you know? Like they could have fought, um, destroyed King's Landing instead of you know Danny going Mad Queen. Right. Because that felt rushed. Yeah, I just. I I really didn't like it. And See, then, I disagree with that. I I felt like so uh, the yeah. Daenerys uh, becoming crazy thing was one of the best things of the season for me because I felt like they've been building that up forever. Yeah, because Dorne lost the prince to the mountain. They lost um, the wife of the prince to Cersei and the two daughters. Yeah, Alaria and the Sand Snakes. Oh like, god, they were awful. Yeah, so wouldn't it make more sense for them to attack? Like, I. It's con- yeah, it's pretty much. I mean, yeah, it's like oh, they're repopulated in the span of two episodes, and uh, two episodes you know, and the Unsullied they should be done because we've seen a bunch of them die, and it seems like the entire eight thousand from season two were back, or season three. Uh, yeah, they're from season three. Uh, yeah, they're from season three. Yeah. Man, it it was just kind of clunky in that part of the episode i i didn't like that at all because it felt like they weren't even trying to be subtle about how many soldiers uh she still has yeah it was just, it's a whole mess mm-hmm. and then we had the the what was it the long night where they fought the dead yep and stuff like that yep. and I, I i started hearing things like um the night king comes back at the end of the season uh-huh. i was like okay that makes sense because uh-huh. he was just killed like in a second but not so eight years of build up to just nothing personally i'm not the biggest fan of the night king the and that entire plot but it is pretty plot, stupid how it, it happened is pretty stupid how it happened i yeah. just you know i just you know it it it, it should have like been it, at it, least it, a it should uh, have like been at least a uh, couple of episodes season eight should have been at least 10 episodes they rushed it completely i think this season's main problem was the pacing yeah everything was completely rushed rushed. there was something about game of thrones that because like i didn't like it like i thought it was stupid Uh and I, i didn't want anything to do with it but then when i started watching it like it was slow but you had this like world built and like it was really nice, right? But I feel like right. throughout the seasons, it just it kind of felt like a soap opera. Like these people died in this dramatic way, whatever. Mm-hmm. It, it didn't feel natural, mm-hmm. and I just it, it felt really bad because Ned Stark, like he's like the first character that you grew attached to, and then he just you know dies. But it's yep. because he believes in something, you know, cause and effect, whatever. But you don't have that in the new season. It's just like it's awful. Right. Right. Yeah. I thought that season one was pretty soap opera ish, but it was like charming. It was like charming. So it it just feels out of place when there's like dragons and magic everywhere. But it's when it's more grounded and political, I feel like it's fine. Um, Because that's part of the charm. But when you have like dragons, it just feels like out of place, honestly. Um, But other than that, it was, you know, okay. I feel like people are overreacting with uh, season eight as a whole. It's just uh, because there there were a lot of good moments. Uh, for example, my favorite moment probably being uh, Theon Greyjoy's death. That's one of my favorite moments in the entire season. Uh, season. I, I don't know how you feel about that, but I don't know how you feel about that, but I mean, Theon was pretty bad, but I mean, he kind of had a reason to like go all crazy and whatever. Uh huh. Um. 
I oh. think that he should have killed the Night King. That would have been a cool twist. But, I don't that know. Been a cool twist. Yeah, it was stupid how he died, but I mean. I did I like it that it was with Littlefinger's dagger, though. You know. Yeah. The war, like yeah. the dagger that Wait, started the whole war. Like the that the whole so Arya war. killed uh, the it Night was? King so with Littlefinger's dagger. Yep. Yeah. That's that's nice. I like how she actually goes back to the wall or Castle Black, and yeah. she gets the needle. Yep. That was really nice. And um, but yeah, I feel like and, uh, yeah. Is there a way like you can like everyone's saying about, talking about the echo? Is there a way you can like put the mic like a little further from the computer? Or is it like? gonna be like that are you there are you there huh i was asking like yeah, if there's a way kind of bad. oh sorry i was asking if there's a way for you to put the mic further away from the computer oh jeez it's really bad oh it's still laggy shit oh it's still laggy shit yeah damn can the people in the chat understand me? Can the people in the chat understand me? Oh, weird. Oh, weird. I feel like the best episode was uh, Battle of the Bastards. Season it was just six? like Season 6? Yeah. Yeah. It was just like really good, well choreographed, whatever. Mm -hmm. And like you actually like when he first, what was the guy's name? Uh, what was his name? Something. But when you got to him, it was like you felt like you good, like there was justice. Oh, Ramsey. Yeah. When oh, Ramsey. Yeah. Yeah, Ramsey. But when you kill like the Night King, when Arya did that, it was just like you know, like you didn't feel anything from it. Right. Right. Yeah, because it wasn't really her enemy, you know. It wasn't really her enemy, you know. Yeah, she yeah. had nothing to do with it. And then, what was the lady's name? Melisandre? No, the red lady, whatever. Yeah, Melisandre. Yeah, Melisandre. Yep. Yeah, she came in. She lit the stuff, and then she tells the prophecy. Yeah, prophecy. But I feel like every time she goes into something, she taints it. Mm -hmm. That's why I kind of like didn't have any interest in the Baratheon. Uh, storyline mm -hmm. because you you already knew that it was gonna be fucked so it was like okay yeah so yeah to be fair um to be fair um Arya was foreshadowed Arya was to kill the Night King kill the Night but King, but the execution is what bugs execution. me I don't mind Arya killing the Night Arya King it's the, the problem King. with um just like it happened like, in one moment just like one moment. stab and like that was it and plus she like jumped out of she nowhere. Like she got nowhere. she went she past got, all of the Night King's guards, which was stupid. Which was stupid. I mean how does yeah, she how do you do that? Really how stupid. Do you do that? I feel like if they had like John at least saying it, like, hey, uh what is it, Arya, come in behind and you'll kill the Night King. I feel like uh -huh. people would actually like uh -huh. yeah, be like, Okay, that makes sense. But it just doesn't it doesn't work. But yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we truffles. Can you, can, you, uh, can you understand me through the mic? Yeah, can you understand me through the mic? Huh? Can you understand me through the mic? Can you understand me through the mic? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Um. All right. Um. Have you tried putting the mic away you from your computer so it's not echoing as much? So it's not echoing as much. Is this better? Oh, let me see. Oh, let me see. No, it's still echoing. No, it's still echoing. Is this better? Um. Um. Oh, uh. Are you uh, on the YouTube page? Are you on the YouTube page? Are you watching yeah, the video? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. All right. Watching do you have the video muted? Yeah. All right, do you have the video muted? It's muted. Okay. I don't know why there's still an echo then. I don't know why there's still an echo. Here, can you like take it for like the furthest away you can from the computer? <coughs> Damn.
Okay, well, I'm back. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. Give me a heart Why? attack. We were just talking about the finale. It was... No, it was bad in my opinion. It was... It's like, Your opinion's fucking stupid. No, I'm just kidding. You know what? Go die. Alright, everyone's saying the echo is fine, so we're just gonna keep going. I so the whole season felt like pretty rushed. Like even season seven through season eight, it was just everything was rushed. Even with like Daenerys, how she just burned down the whole city, uh -huh. that was kind of rushed as well. Like I know it was foreshadowed in previous seasons, but like it just it it felt too rushed, and they packed it all into like one episode. See, I kind of so disagree with that because, because uh, uh, that was like my was favorite part of the season. Part of I, I did no, like all the foreshadowing and stuff, and I like how it took multiple things in season eight, such as no, her losing not, her like, best friends and her children, like the dragons, and no, like not that's not what I'm saying. Like I liked that she burned down the city, like, uh -huh. but like I'm saying, it was stupid that they rushed everything. Like they just packed it in one episode. That was kind of stupid. What do you mean? Like they just. I mean, she never really like burned down, burnt like burned down a whole, whole city at once, mm -hmm. and then in this episode, she just kind of went. You know, it was foreshadowed, but she just kind of like. I don't know. She just decided to burn it down, even though the bells went off and like. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's here's just, how I. Rushed. Here's how I interpret it. Um, um, I saw it I as. Saw that... Uh, she, uh, saw she saw her only her opportunity, opportunity as ruling out of fear, out of fear because she learned that, that ruling through, through, you know, kindness, kindness and, people and people respecting her wasn't going to happen gonna because happen everyone liked Jon Snow, Snow more than her, and no one liked her because she was a foreigner. And she saw her only chance was to, like, pretty much scare the people and rule by making them fear. And she also said that she didn't want Cersei to use the people as, like, a... A tool, a tool against, against her, her like, like her, her being, being merciful. merciful and plus yeah, she's just that, fucking yeah. nuts like the only thing that she really had was fear because mm -hmm. they wouldn't really accept her like i understand that yeah. mm -hmm. but i don't know this whole season felt just really rushed oh yeah i definitely oh, yeah, agree I definitely with that agree the that. pacing was, was terrible and then another thing was with like um you know the Zothraki, how in the fight against the White Walkers, how a lot of them died? Yeah, like me that? and uh, Truffles are just talking about that, how they all yeah, basically just repopulated. Stupid. And then, like, yeah. a bunch of them show up at King's Landing, and it's yeah. like, how do you explain that? <laughs> and then a water bottle was left in, on the last episode. Oh, really? It was? Yeah, there's, like, a scene where, um, in, like, in the dragon pit, like, a, like beside, like, Jesus one of the people's Christ. legs... There's a water bottle left. Yeah, it's they clear that D and D care. stopped caring. Yeah, they did, and I th I think like the prime of the show was like season one through four, mm -hmm. and then when D and D kind of just like started writing more, it just became really bad. See, I always thought like season six was six was really good though. It was, yeah. Season six was okay, but like season one really through four, scene. those were really good. Yep. Yep. I honestly, I honestly thought season thought six, like season two was a good season, but season six is probably better than season two in my opinion. Yeah, it is. But yeah, the first four seasons are pretty stable. Yeah. yeah. Um, There's this dude, um, Cyborg Man. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ty Tyrion was a prisoner who decided that Bran is a new king. All these strangers who never met Bran are chill with them being king. Yeah, that makes sense because. I, I think I skipped that part because it was stupid. <laughs> but no. like, how is Tyrion the prisoner? And then he comes back and he's like, hey, maybe Bran should be king. No, you know what else I found like, stupid was sense. they did all these things. They did like, for example, um, Arya having the whole faceless thing. And she only used it once. And then the prophecy where it was like, oh, a new queen, a younger, more beautiful queen will sit on the throne of the seven kingdoms and then it's Bran and it's like mm -hmm. then what why did you all do all these things mm -hmm. yeah some prophecies came true and some didn't which was weird and yeah that's a good point about Arya she never used her faces again 
I thought she was going to use like Littlefinger's face at some point, you know, to ma manipulate people. Yeah, that's but what I thought too. They, yeah, they never took advantage of that. Yeah, like a lot of things, like they did a lot of things, but then it never came of use in later right. seasons. Yeah, I just, oh, someone said Bran is transgendered, so that actually makes sense about. <laughs> Yeah. No, listen, Song says so she just at the dragon pit, she just called him out. She was like, his dick doesn't work. <laughs> that's, that's true. So that's how they that's break how the they wheel. Break. They don't have any errors. I don't know. I uh, thought it was stupid. Bran yeah. just came out of nowhere. You know what? I was I was on Twitter and one person goes, Bran is like that kid that never does the work in projects but still gets an A. Yeah, I saw, yeah, that, I saw too. that too. That's so true. So I don't know, it was, the whole thing was kind of stupid, and I felt like I wasted nine years on nothing. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I don't know. I personally was satisfied with the ending, but it could have been a lot better. Yeah, it could have been better. Like, also, with uh, Drogon, I felt bad for him. Yeah, big rip. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad for him, because his mom died, his two brothers died, he's all alone. I was actually sad about Daenerys. Like, I didn't like her until she burned down everyone, because I was like, okay, they're not making her, like, a good evil. person. Yeah, like, they're, they're, uh, they made her evil. Like, I, I wanted them to go that route, and they did. And so I was afraid was they're going to, like... rushed, like... I, it wasn't to me. I know it could be for some people, but my, I was going to have a problem with her being, like, a good character, like, high morals and stuff. Even though yeah, it's, I don't like that either. Yeah, like, because all these people, like, naming their kids after Daenerys and, like, thinking she's, like, hot shit or whatever, but I, I don't know. I, it was pretty funny, I will say, when, after watching episode five, a lot of the moms got butt hurt and went on a Twitter to rant that their, uh, their, like, newborn child is named after basically an evil tyrant. <laughs> so that was, that was pretty funny. But, like, I don't know. But when she, like, descended into, like, like being really evil, I actually enjoyed it, because when characters too. are too, when, like, when characters are too, like, human, it's, like, you know that word, like, they're too, just, like, humanitarian, like, I don't like that. I don't, humanitarian, I don't like, yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. I like it when they have, like, a little bit of, like, a negative side and uh, a good side. More gray, more gray than, than black and white. white. Yeah. Yeah, what, uh... What, uh <clears throat> my problem, like, my only problem with the Daenerys thing was, uh, we didn't see enough of her being, like, totally evil after she burned down all those people, and that's why they should have done ten episodes this season. Oh, there's, like, double echo now. Oof. Uh, the best character? What's that? I really liked, like, who's the best character? I liked oh. Elena Tyrell. She was... Elena's a good choice. Yeah, I liked her character a lot. Um, who else? Also with Jamie, um, I think, like, his, they did a lot on his character development, and then in the last episode, they just kind of butchered it. I always saw him as someone, okay. like, I, I think... I did say my video, I was kind of pissed about it, but looking back at it, I'm not that mad anymore because I think he always loved Cersei because in season six, he did become a better person, but he was like telling Edmure Tolley all this shit about how he would uh, uh, catapult his own child into his castle just to get back to Cersei. So I feel like Cersei, like he's always been in love with Cersei and that's not going to change. Like he's a better person, but Cersei's always like, the death of him which is what Elena Tyrell said yeah. that Cersei would be the death of Jamie, and she was yeah another thing that I really didn't like was Cersei and, and Jamie's death she literally got killed by rocks yeah it was sure. pretty lame like they could have done more to that it should have been something else but I did like how she got a painless quick death because that's how it's like sometimes like the villains will get off easily mm-hmm but, but I can see why I people are pissed about that. They just want to see her, like, tortured and stuff. Man. Like, I didn't want to see her tortured, but it was, like, kind of lame. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That she just died by rocks. Uh, 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 my favorite character, though, would probably be either Littlefinger, Jamie, or Theon. 
It's like kind of um, a three-way tie. Yeah, I like Theon a lot. Like Littlefinger. I mean, I didn't like his character that much, but uh-huh. I like that he always he wasn't like he wasn't on anyone's side really. Right. He was kind of right. always on his own side. Yeah. Yeah. He was really, he was smart, really too. smart too. And it took yeah, a lot to was. get him killed yeah, off. Killed um, off. Um, it took a uh, brand who could see everything. Arya is an assassin, and Sansa is basically Littlefinger's weakness, and she's almost as smart as him. So, I like how they killed him off. I know some people were disappointed, but I didn't see any other way of him like going out because he got completely outsmarted by a, a bunch of things. Yeah, and then I saw another post on Twitter. It pointed out that you know, in Sansa's coronation, how she has that crown. Uh-huh. And someone said it was really similar to Cersei's crown, and someone was saying, oh, like, she took the good qualities of Cersei oh, yeah? being a oh, yeah. queen. And it kind of, like, yeah. Because, yeah, Sansa, yeah, Sansa did Sansa learn did from, from Cersei, Cersei and Littlefinger. A lot, yeah. Yep. Yep. What's um, another character? Um, Marjorie, she was a really good character as well. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was. Uh, uh, all right. I'm just gonna right, say overall, say overall I, did I did like. like I, mean, I mean, season eight season is probably, eight probably the worst season. season. Either that yeah. or season five. Season five. Mm-hmm. Just because season five, five didn't have five much didn't have going on in it, and that I think the worst thing you could do is have a boring season. Um, but yeah, season eight is definitely at the bottom compared to the other seasons overall. The other seasons overall. Um, yeah, definitely. Season eight, like visually, it was amazing. Like. Yeah. It was. The effects the, were amazing. Yeah. Cinematography the and all that. The acting was good. Yeah. But the fire was just, like, amazing to watch. Yeah. It Speaking, was. Like, about the characters and Jamie, I feel like... It just felt really, like, Okay, powerful. so Tywin like... was, like, my favorite character. Tywin, Jamie, yeah, he, he starts off as, one. like, you know... He starts as, like, the arrogant, you know, like, know-it-all, best fighter or whatever. He's rich and stuff. And then yep. he, ki- he kicks Bran, so he's crippled. Sansa becomes like a victim, you know, abused, whatever. And Arya is like orphanless. Well, not orphanless, but you know, she gets sent to Essos. And it's like throughout the time, you can see how the roles kind of switch. And now you have, you know, Bran's the king, uh, Sansa's a lord. You know, it's just like, uh huh, uh huh, yeah. I love how like the show had to make its own ending, and then. The author, or, or Martin, he didn't even finish the book, so he's kind of like, yeah, we're not going to end it like that. Yeah, there's going to be a prequel so. when it's set like 2,000 years before like, the whole thing. 2,000? Yeah, it's it going to was... be like the children of the forest and stuff like that. Well, that's dumb because the Night King was finished off in such a pussy way. I think it should be, they should like do a prequel on, what is it, the like... Valeria and stuff Aegon. like that on the Targaryens and that would either be that or Robert's Rebellion I would love to see Robert's Rebellion in, yeah like, I would like TV. to see that too but a lot of people were saying it's like too recent that's sure yeah uh, <clears throat> I guess we could read some of the comics see what other pe- comics comments uh um, Hey, Weasel, are you going to talk about the whole Cody Cohen? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's read definitely on topic. George will get the other two done in his lifetime. Yeah, I want to read the books over the summer. I heard they're I'm too, too. Yep. yep. Uh, the Echo is the echo what's is best what's about this thing. this thing. I agree. Truffles, some way. What do you think of John being the one killing Daenerys? I think, I mean, I liked it. It was kind of predictable, though. That it was predictable, but, but I kind of like how she went out that way. Like she was just confused like while she died. So it was kind of painful, but I don't know I don't who know, else I would. Know. I like Jamie doing it would have been cool because then he'd be like the Queen Slayer. Um. I don't know who else would do it though. Like making it a good ending, someone else killing Daenerys. The part where they joked about democracy felt odd. It felt like a Marvel movie in that scene. It honestly did. It felt like a, a 
uh, jump the shark type of moment because it felt like the talk, like the way they were speaking was too modern. Like they're trying to, you know, joke about democracy and showing how all the characters are stupid because they can't see that democracy is the best system. It, it was kind of, yeah, that was kind of a stupid scene. I, I didn't even laugh. I was supposed to laugh, but uh, everyone I was watching with were just, we're just kind of sitting there awkwardly because it wasn't a funny moment. It was just very out of place. Um, what's your opinion on the Iron Throne being melted? Uh, it was fine. I didn't like. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I was neutral on that. I like how Drogon uh did it because he knew that Daenerys's ultimate downfall was trying to get the Iron Throne because yeah, she was power Iron hungry. Throne. So, because dragons are supposed to be smart, that's been established. But yeah. Um. So I really liked it when what is it? She he burned he burned it because it like. Basically, what you said, it showed that her downfall was being too power hungry for right, like some right. kingdoms. Exactly. Uh, I really wanted a fight scene with Grey Worm and John, though. That would have been cool, I guess, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it was really necessary. Grey Worm, I think he had a decent ending. He kind of came off as an anti hero hero this season, and he got to go to the place. I think it was Narth where. He said yeah, he would take this. Yep. Yeah. So I like that. Um, why didn't Grey Worm kill Jon Snow as soon as he found out that he killed Daenerys? Nobody was there to stop him. Nothing would have happened. I just think Jon should have died as well. I think the reason why that happened was because um, Jon is a lord. Those Lannister soldiers who were caught, they were nobody. And if Jon was killed, then a bunch of soldiers would uprise and fight the Unsullied. That's my prediction uh, that's the reason why they probably should have said in the show just to establish that but i don't know i think it was kind of hinted at yeah someone said i understand daenerys's descent to madness but i want at no point was she capable of destroying an entire city it was all crammed into two episodes way too rushed yeah that's what i felt it was like it was too rushed that's fair like, that's fair i just think overall she had craziness inside her and then everything just piling on her her losing uh Varys, Jon Snow, uh Jorah, uh Melisande or Missandei and um her two dragons and knowing that there's someone else out there who's a better leader and she knows that but she still wants the power because she's been fighting throughout the whole series just to get the throne. So um now we know why the Golden Company didn't possess elephants. They were destroyed within a minute. Did that scene annoy y'all? Or Yeah, I, I didn't like how uh, the Golden Company was kind of built up and they were just taken out in two scenes, pretty much. It was weird they even like established a character for the Golden Company just to kill him off right away. It didn't really make any sense. Um, that's where the subverting expectations thing started. It was kind of dumb that uh, those moments were pretty stupid well i think people are exaggerating about how many uh expectation subverted scenes were included just to subvert our expectations there were a handful that were pretty obnoxious uh yeah another thing was um john being a Targaryen. that did not like yeah that didn't really it come into play relevant at all it wasn't it was relevant, though. I mean, it wasn't a way I mean, to make Daenerys to become make crazy, Daenerys become but that was just one aspect. It should have been. It should have played a bigger part. So yes, it was relevant, but it wasn't as relevant as it should have been. Yeah. No, because if even if like he still loved her, or whatever, he would still be a threat. And like at this point, it wasn't like like he said, like she just wanted things to be her way. So like she will eliminate anyone who disagrees with her. So if they're like scared of her, you know, might as well just do it by force. Cause she said it, I think she said it like a few seasons ago. She was like, if they don't want to be, what is it, rescued, then I'll make them rescued by force or something. And I just feel like that kind of made sense. But I feel like him telling Sansa and stuff that he was Targaryen was stupid. And then Varys, Varys was writing to someone, I don't know who he was writing to. He was basically was writing to all the lords and letting them know that John was a Targaryen. Yeah. 
But what was stupid was like, uh, was in, in the a, finale, they like didn't suicide. show the Lords even talk about John being a Targaryen. Like, that was never brought up. It's like, it didn't matter. And they re- they knew, like, he was still Targaryen in the finale because that was the reason why Daenerys died, but it should have played a much bigger role. It's like they forgot about it after Daenerys died. Uh... Amelia Clark's acting was on point this season. I agree. I I did like her acting. She, like, I didn't like it in the beginning seasons because she just came off as really whiny, which I guess fit the character, but she was really obnoxious. Especially in season two. I could not stand Daenerys in season two. She just annoyed me. Um, But overall, yeah, Amelia Clark's acting definitely got better as the series went on, which I guess is, like, one big improvement that's happened as the series went on. Um, let's see uh, do you think Daenerys going mad is predictable I would say so I I pretty much called it since like probably season 2 I, 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 I knew like there was something weird about the scene I did like how um, the scene where she's walking through um uh, King's Landing, or where the Iron Throne was at, and we're supposed to th- see that scene as like snow falling, like winter is coming, but it's actually ashes. ashes. That was mm-hmm. a really, yeah, yeah, that was really that cool. Was really I did cool. like that. Did like yeah, that was a good scene. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for it to be foreshadowed since season two was uh, a good twist. Um, uh, do you think six episodes is too short for the last season? Absolutely. Uh, season seven should have had ten episodes and. Season eight should have had ten episodes because episode four of season eight had some of the worst pacing I've ever seen in anything. Um, and that's the thing about season eight; it's like it had really good stuff, but also had really bad stuff. There was never an okay moment. It was just like it either made me cringe or it made me happy. It was just kind of yeah. on and off. Yeah. And then another thing was, like, I know this is already everyone thinks this, but the writing. Especially when um, Daenerys and John were like at the <clears throat> near like the cave or something, and he said like, um, "Well, if you want to make your queen like make oh your queen god, warm, yeah, said, that, that was, was so, so disgusting. <laughs> that was like Riverdale it, dialogue. It was, and I honestly, I honestly, honestly hated it because it was like that show. It has been so good for. It. Yeah, it's been known for its dialogue. Many it's really years. good dialogue. Yeah. And then they put that shit in. That was, yeah, horrible. <laughs> yeah. That whole dragon riding scene was really cringy. It just didn't fit. Yeah. Truffles, you good? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh, your, your, your mic is fucked. Up. fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, can you understand? No, I can't. I. He sounds like a robot. He does. I. Yeah, Truffle is getting glitched. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting glitched in real life. <laughs> Truffles, you are a robot. <laughs> I should have known. Alright, I'm gonna cut his mic off until he fixes that. I'm... Uh... Let's see. He's malfunctioning. (laughs) (laughs) Uh... The bodies of Jamie and Cersei were not even, like, crushed. They looked like they just put boulders on top of perfectly good bodies. Yeah, Yeah, and then some dust, and that's it. Yeah. I did, like, uh, (laughs) Peter Dinklage's acting during that scene, but, yeah, it really wasn't immersive when we saw the bodies that were clean. Yeah, I like Peter Dinklage's, um, what is it, acting this episode. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Who took the throne made sense. I mean, it did, but it was pretty unsatisfying. Um, yeah, um, it was. I don't know if you guys heard, you guys but heard, there was a there was huge a theory about Littlefinger theory about being alive, alive, and there was actually a lot of evidence to support that, that, and I was totally yeah, down with that. Yeah, you said it, like, last live stream. Yeah. yeah. I was so disappointed.
they, they didn't, didn't even bring that back because there, there was so many so heads. Damn. But I don't know, overall this, like, the, the last, like, two seasons, or you can say mainly, like, each season, the eighth season was really disappointing. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, wait, my who took the throne made sense was a continuation of my other comment. What was your other comment? Uh, I don't know who you said. Oh, who took the throne didn't make sense. See, I disagree with that. It made sense. It was just a stupid choice. Um. Edmir Tully was funny as fuck. Yeah, I felt like they were just bullying Edmir for no reason. I kind of like him, but they just kind of just, uh, you know, made him into a joke. And while he wasn't the smartest guy in season three, he was still kind of sophisticated. Um, but yeah. Um. Yeah. Another thing that I don't like is when, like, with Tyrion, they kind of took all like his character character wits away like he, he was always known to be witty and stuff mm -hmm. right and then this season he's just kind of like i don't know it was disappointing that too see i so thought, thought um, um him being stupid was like going to be some sort of character development later on i wouldn't say stupid mm -hmm. just, like, just like he didn't know what he was doing because it was politics versus battle tactics which is something new for him and um he actually he did have good battle tactics during uh, the Battle of Blackwater, but that was like in his territory. It wasn't like he was doing this in uh, foreign countries or lands he's not familiar with. Um, but uh, what I'm trying to say is that in season eight, I was hoping they would have him do like one really smart thing to make up for all of his mistakes, but they just kind of made him hand of the king to make up for yeah. his past mistakes, and he was kind of forced to do that. I wasn't really... A satisfying ending for him i did like he was hand of the king but i feel like he should have done something intelligent at the end because he felt yeah, another, it, it's like he's dead weight dead like <laughs> up until like no well, he's been like since season like five he's been pretty much dead weight i you mm -hmm. know yeah and then another thing that i liked was when he um when he was like the hands like the king's hand he was mm -hmm. fixing the chairs just like his dad was like in the first season and stuff right right and that was like pretty good too i like that yep. i did like that a lot too um brand's character development though was terrible why would they pick him as king what the fuck has he done it was stupid honestly like Uh, Bran has the personality of a bowl of Bran flakes. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so, I mean, I do know what, like I said before, I know why they picked Bran, but th there were just so many other characters who deserved it more. Like, he's done nothing. I get he's yeah, like that's the thing that I was frustrated about. Exactly. Is that he did nothing. He didn't do a lot of things. His only uh, role characters. Like his yeah, only role was, was to like get Littlefinger be killed the and to be Raven, basically. Yeah, be three eyed Raven, and that led to him getting Littlefinger killed and being bait for the Night King. It's not really that much for someone who is like hyped up to be one of the most important characters in the show. And mm -hmm. If he did more, then I'd be like, yeah, you know what? He maybe deserves a throne for, you know, all he's been through and all that shit. But I don't know. It, it, like, I see why they picked him because he's like an unbiased person. Like, he can't have emotions. So it's probably one of the best choices you can get. But at the same time, he didn't do shit. They should have made Bran do something this season. So it would have been more satisfying. Uh, 
do you think John is going to stay over the wall or is he coming back to the watch? Because at the end of the episode, he looked at the wall like he was not coming back to it. My theory is that he became the new uh, King Beyond the Wall, like Mance Raider, which would be a cool twist because I think he fits better with the Wildlings. I think like a lot of people were mad about Jon Snow's ending, but I actually really liked it a lot because it fit his character. I didn't want him to be King. That would have been way too predictable. Um, I think he fits with like Wildling culture because he's been around them a lot. Uh, the Wildlings respect him. Um, so uh, what are your thoughts on that, Jasmine? Um... I mean, with John, yeah, he would fit in much better with <clears throat> the Wildlings. Because, like, he doesn't really have anything to come back for. Right. right. Like, if he comes back, like, they they will probably just tell him to go back. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know. And a lot of people question, like, why didn't he stay? Because Grey Worm left. So it's like no one was really there to enforce that rule that John had to go to the to the wall. But I feel like John <laughs> knew he had to go and he wanted to because there's no other place for him in the world, like you just kind of said. So, um, yeah, it made sense it made for sense. me. But, like, at the same time, I kind of like, but, okay, John is not my favorite character, but at the same time, I felt kind of bad for him. Uh -huh. He kind of lost everything, he didn't have anyone left, really. Yep. And, yeah, you know. Ygrid, or how do you say her name? She died. Yeah, Ygrid, and then yeah. Died. yeah. He didn't really... And then his sisters, they went, like, different paths. So it kind of felt bad for him on that, but, yeah. Hey, Truffles, is your mic better now? I put his audio back on. I'm just waiting for him. I guess not. Oh, well. I got his audio on when he comes back. Uh, why didn't the Wildlings just stay under the wall? All they've wanted is to break through the wall. So why did they decide to go back beyond the wall? They wanted to stay there because the night or the White Walkers were going out to kill them. So there's really no reason for them to stay behind the wall. They can go back to their old homes and live their lives like they were before. But the reason why they wanted to basically be behind the wall is because the White Walkers were chasing after them and killing them. So... Now that the White Walkers are gone, um, there's, you know, they're not really hiding or running away from anything anymore. So they have a reason to go back. Um, um, also, another thing that was kind of disappointed at was when Bran said, maybe I can find Shogun. And then didn't, they didn't really like show that scene of him doing something. They just kind of left it in the dark. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, something I did like in the last episode was um, Brienne writing in for Jamie. Yeah, that was a good scene. Because mm -hmm. it listed down all of his accomplishments that made him a better man. And I like that callback from season four with Joffrey basically saying, like, you're never going to get your name written in here. So I'm glad they remembered that. At least D&D &D is, is trying in some trying areas. In some areas. Mm -hmm. And then another thing was with, like, the Stark children, like, the whole Stark family, basically, in the beginning of the show, they were, like, being teared apart, like, teared apart. A lot of them were dead. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, they're just kind of the ones ruling the Westeros. Yep. That was pretty yep. interesting. Yeah, I'm glad the Starks yeah. won in the end, ultimately, because they're the ones who deserved it the most. Yeah. Uh... But in the books, there have been multiple kings of uh, beyond wall, beyond the wall uh, that wanted to bring their people down south. Well, then again, a few kings don't speak for the whole population. Mance Raider is the only one who's been considered the king beyond the wall in the show. And the show and the books have their differences, so I can't really speak on behalf of the books because I've not read them. I do plan to, but um, I, I don't know about the other kings beyond the wall i don't think there's any like even any other kings beyond the wall in the show so. mm, yeah i don't think so either because he definitely would have been, been mentioned but yeah i feel like why a lot of people were disappointed at, like uh bran sitting let's say on the iron throne and stuff and at the last episode in general was because of nostalgia i feel like that was a big thing mm -hmm. like you have this nostalgia for like from the past seasons of like, let's say Daenerys, right? She was, people, a lot of people were sure that she was going to sit on the throne. And then, yeah. And then she just died, so. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ari should have her own spinoff show. Yeah, I probably wouldn't watch that. I like Arya, but lately she's become like she's becoming a character that just seems out of place in the show. I don't know. I just don't really like her character anymore. Like. I don't like. I, used the, to. I did too. I don't like the whole like the teenage whole girl goes out and is badass, badass type of badass. thing. I don't know. Yeah, it just seems kind of like corny. Either. Um. What else? But yeah, as I said, I would like to see a like a prequel for like Valeria and the Targaryens mm. and the Doom of Valeria and stuff. I'd like to see that. That would be cool. That would be cool. The actor of Varys was so disappointed. If you see his interviews, he basically says, I feel like Varys has been dumbed down. I don't think he's been dumbed down, down, but but they didn't give him much to do. do. Yeah, they didn't. Because his last thing, thing, like, like, before his death, death, it really had had no impact, impact. if you think about it. He didn't do much. Yeah. Like, the last two seasons, really, he didn't contribute a lot. Right. Right. Like season but seven, I get it. Like, like he didn't get he didn't really get any really screen time, time, so he's not so going to do anything. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, season but eight, season he should have done, done something big. big. And, and what he did was tell the lords and ladies, ladies about Jon Snow being the next heir, heir but that, that really, really had no impact because Jon Snow ultimately just killed Daenerys. So someone said Varys just accepted his stuff. He didn't even try to fight back. What a shame. No, but like he didn't have a choice. He would be killed either way. Yep. yep. Like, even if he tried being, like, you know, tr- try to fight back, Daenerys would still burn him. I did like how I he like still how he stayed in character, stayed though. He was fighting for the realm and not himself, himself so, so they didn't, like, do some like dumb, dumb twist where, where you, know, you know, they made him selfish. Yeah. Um, Weasel, are you going to make a video of your view of the entire series? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a list of ranking Ranking all eight seasons seasons. i I haven't written down down, but but, um um, i'll share them probably after this live stream stream. like that'll be my next upload um so yeah that's gonna be like my overall review of the whole series just ranking each season what's your favorite season though i don't know if i want to say that i'll let you guys just watch on the list I think I've said it before, actually, so if you remember, then I yeah, spoiled you on accident. You on accident. <laughs> um, another thing was in in episode five. Um, remember that scene with like the mountain the mountain the mountain and like their fight? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That was pretty interesting as well. Like he just he didn't kill him, he took him like they both died. That yep. was pretty interesting. Yep. And that was like one of the few things everyone can agree on was like one of the few good things in season eight was how the hound died. And I agree with that because he got a pretty good ending. Why didn't Littlefinger fight back? I mean, he did. He tried like he tried to play all of his cards and it didn't work. So Yeah, because at the end there was proof from... Like, yeah, because yeah. Bran, like, Bran knew, like what, knew he did, what he did, and he revealed it he to, revealed everyone. to everyone. Um, uh, someone said, or he could have requested trial by, co- by combat. Wait, who? Littlefinger. Yeah. Littlefinger. Um, but nobody I mean, would fight, no for, would him. fight for him. Yeah, no one would fight for him, that's the thing. And then their and champion would probably be, be Arya. Arya. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it would be useless. Um... <clears throat> Quiburn's secrets are lost. I, I'm mixed on his death. I thought it was okay. Like it happened fast, but at the same time, it was kind of cool how the mountain just like didn't want to hear any shit, just wanted to fight the hound. Because ultimately, that's what it's been all about for him. Um. Quaverin's death was hilarious. It was pretty funny. Favorite episode? Mine's season four, episode nine. Um, 
my favorite episode is probably season three, episode nine, which is uh, the Red Wedding. I think it's called something else. No, yeah, it's called the Red Wedding. That's probably my favorite episode. It's not my favorite not my season, favorite but season. that's my favorite that's episode. My favorite episode. Mm, yeah, the Red Wedding was pretty good. Yep. yep. Uh, I feel like John killing Danny was so anticlimactic. Uh, I didn't like that scene at all. I kind of liked it. Um, personally, I can see why someone wouldn't, but I thought it was pretty decent. Uh, uh... Um. Someone said, <clears throat> "Lord, who requests a child by combat can summon people from their realm per rules." Of the book, Littlefinger could have got someone or anyone from his own realm who would have fought for him. Yeah, but that's, oh, the, that's book. the book. And the show, yeah. they made it clear yeah. that you can't do that because Tyrion tried to do that in, season, do that in season, season four and it didn't work. Yeah. Why, why do you think uh, the, dragon think the dragon didn't dragon kill John? I think it realized like the Iron Throne was the real enemy, plus yeah, he's a Targaryen. Targaryen. Yeah. Can you make a video <laughs> I think the dragon knew he was a traitor. Yeah, that, and then mm -hmm. it knew that the downfall of Daenerys was, like, hunger for the Iron Throne. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts on Daenerys possibly getting resurrected and then having a sequel? That would be fucking stupid. I'm just pointing that out there. Mm, yeah, well, <laughs> I would <laughs> hate Someone that. Said, um, that Drogon, he flied, he flied to the east, right? And someone uh, that uh, said that he fly to what is it? Um, this place where maybe some other dragons live, where they're like dragon eggs, mm -hmm. and maybe he can like, I don't know. So they're not making a they're sequel making a though, sequel, so I don't know what don't these, know what these theories, theories are. You know. Yeah. If they were, if they then were, I understand it, stand, but. Let's see, do we know how smart these dragons are? I'm wondering th what the burning of the throne was all about. I mean, it's again the symbolism, like... Yeah, we yeah, do, because they, they, in season one, they, season they were one, they said, were said to be intelligent creatures. creatures. And I think, and I think both, both Tywin, Tywin and, and Viserys said, 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 said that. Tywin said it in season, season two, two, though. And Tyrion and said, said it in one, one of the seasons. And then... And then another cool thing was when, and I think it was in season two, where Daenerys was in like the, um, the throne room, and she didn't really get to touch the Iron Throne, and then mm -hmm. in season eight she touched it, and but then she died. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah, I went back to watch yeah, that scene because I was like, this is a really cool callback, and then. Yeah. Yep. Prequel's probably Prequel's gonna be probably trash. trash. If they get if different they get writers, writers, I would hope I would it's hope somewhat, decent. somewhat decent. Not unlike, not unlike season, season one through four, four quality, of quality of writing from Game of Thrones, but at least, at least just decent. I don't think it's ever gonna get to like season one through four. Cause... No, because no, George R. R. Martin, Martin, he's he's done he's like with like, the, whole the whole franchise. I think he yeah. wants to do, wants to something, do else. something else. George is directing George it apparently. I gotta research that. If he is, then. If he is, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Um. Damn, Truffles has been gone for a while. Wait, hold up. I'm gonna DM him. His video is still going, though. I saw, you know. They've already made enough money, they're probably going to stop putting effort. Unfortunately, that's how it works in most Hollywood shows and movies and stuff. They just, yeah, haul in for the money. Uh, George R. R. Martin is still writing the books, I'm pretty sure. I hope to God he is. I think uh, he is writing it, but it's going to take him a while. I'm pissed off at the people who are trying to uh, get it to write it faster, even though no, George R. R. Martin George R. R. isn't R. R. in the best in health, health, and it's kind of ruining, ruining his health, health with all the stress and shit, and shit so. so. Yeah, that's pretty rude, because... I mean, you wrote... How many books did he write? He wrote, like, six or five? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, the fact that he wrote so many books, and they're all really... Th you know, they're all really big. 
Mm-hmm. And then the people are putting stress on him to write it faster, to, you know, please them with the show. Yep. Yeah, and that's kind of rude. Uh, I thought the Sopranos uh, thought guy was going to direct it. it. Mm, I don't know how I'd feel about that, because I heard the Sopranos overall was a decent TV show, but it had a horrible ending. So... Uh, did you uh, like the Daenerys like wing scene? scene? That was a pretty, that cool, was a pretty scene. cool scene. It was, yeah. It's like, you know, it's the like, wings coming out of her back and shit. That was, yeah. Um, I'll take a couple uh, more questions, questions and then I'm probably gonna, gonna end it. it. Let's see, I don't think the ending is far from what George wanted. The ending could have been good if only Bran had more protagonism. Daenerys becoming mad could have been more foreshadowed, etc. I completely agree. Yeah, I agree. With that. If, they if they expanded upon everything, upon everything it, would it would have been decent. decent. But they chose, but they chose to, rush to rush it and it have horrible have pacing, and it just kind of came, came out like a deflating, like a deflating balloon. balloon. Uh, in the book, Sinaris uh, never, never cared about the Iron Throne until Viserys, 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 Viserys died, and she's, she's the true heir to her family's throne. I found it cringy the way she kept saying, I've wanted it my whole life. That's one That's difference one I could see why someone would someone dislike, would it, dislike it, but personally, I like how she's been power hungry since the beginning. beginning. Like, she like seems, seems like someone who's going to be the hero, hero, but for the whole time, the whole there's time been, like, been like subtle little subtle hints. Well, not really subtle, subtle but hints throughout, throughout the series throughout that, she's that she's crazy. crazy. Um, it is a truffle so that he can't, he can't hear us. Huh. Huh. Let me try putting try his mic in there. there. Can you hear us now? He must have his must mic have his muted because. Yeah, I think so. It's not echoing. Um, someone said they gave it the directors ten episodes, but they decided to make only six. Maybe with ten episode episodes, it would have have been this rushed. Yeah, I agree on that. They should have done ten. That's like yeah. I think everyone Especially can agree on it's that. Especially because the last season. Yep. Uh, you think you're going to keep your HBO subscription or get rid of it since uh, Game of Thrones is over? There's other shows to watch, I think, so I'm probably going to keep it. Ryan, I need your house. Wait, what'd you do to it? I didn't touch I didn't anything. Touch it anything. just kind of ended randomly, and now it's going, now it's back. going back. I did that last, did that time. last time. That was weird. Alright, I'll, right, I'll probably take one more take good one question, question, then I'll, I'll be done. Okay, I okay, downloaded, I downloaded OBS. OBS. Um, probably gonna use probably that in the future. the future. I don't know how to include, know how to include multiple, multiple people, people, but, you know. Yeah. Alright, it All says right, video, it says output, video output, output is low, so, so we'll probably, probably just, just end it here. Yeah. So. Good question. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. All right.